Truth Podcast with your brother Old God and Sandman going in today on this Thursday afternoon. If you're listening on YouTube, do me a favor, hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. Now, the other day, you know, we um did a video which we received a little, we received a little bit of backlash. That's cool. You know, from R. Kelly, um, a backup singer coming out saying that she seen R. Kelly having sex on a tour bus with a 15 year old. Aaliyah and I saw a lot of your comments. Y'all like, oh, y'all tarnishing the legacy. And I'm like, not us. We're just doing the story. You know, we're not saying that we agree with any of it. But um, Aaliyah's mom, Aaliyah's mom, you know, um, came out and she said this about that story. She said the woman and so-called backup singer that described seeing, meeting, or even breathing the same air as my daughter Aaliyah is a liar, says Diane Houghton. Um, she says, my husband and I were always on tour with her and at her interviews and at every place she went throughout her entire career. Whoever this woman is, I have never seen her before anywhere on planet Earth until now. Houghton also went on to say, these lies and fabrications cannot be tolerated and allowed to be spewed from the forked tongues of sabotages of Aaliyah's legacy. My daughter only wanted to realize her dream of sharing her talent with the world. She realized that the dream... Thanks to those true fans who still love and support her legacy unconditionally to this day. Now, she ended out her uh, statement saying um, the R. Kelly production, shame on those involved in this project and those who continue to try to drag her daughter's legacy, you know, down. She says, um, Aaliyah's naive into any situation that has nothing to do with her today once again this will not be tolerated and this is referring to the docuseries that's supposed to be airing tonight i think on lifetime called surviving surviving r kelly yeah tonight um january 3rd 9 p.m um on lifetime sam Matt, your thoughts on Aaliyah's mom coming out saying this is bullshit well everyone was asking where her parents were in that situation so she felt the need to defend her family's legacy and her daughter's legacy in that situation this is right. real real this isn't a, a real comfortable thing to talk about when you talk about a woman who has passed away years ago a legend an icon and Aaliyah who's not here to defend herself mm -hmm. and you're talking about an Aaliyah who is allegedly 15 years old in a situation where she's having sex with a grown man and there's people around and and there's various things around and like i said she's not here to defend herself those are very serious allegations we all heard the allegations two decades ago that they got secretly married, faked documents saying that Aaliyah was 18 when she was really 15. Parents weren't really out speaking at the time. We all heard that. We're not gonna sit here and spew and get in the mud with that situation at all. Lifetime, when it comes to this docu-series, this is where the shit kind of gets real weird for me. And this is what I didn't understand because we all have our opinions about R. Kelly. And we all get the, we get the backlash and, and we embrace the backlash and we're cool with the backlash because mm -hmm. we, we committed ourselves in disseminating the news the way we need to disseminate it, the way we feel it needs to be done. And we do a good job of that. We remain objective in how we approach the news, even though we personally mm -hmm. have our opinions, suspicions, thoughts in our head mm -hmm. on what exactly went down, like everyone else does. But we got to remain committed to being objective. So we always say, allegedly, even though this, that, or the third may come out. Why is it that Lifetime who also, if I'm not mistaken, did the uh, documentary with Aaliyah with uh, Wendy Williams, mm -hmm. who that entire documentary was almost centered around R. Kelly and Aaliyah's relationship, so obsessed with destroying R. Kelly. Now, you asked me a couple of days ago, is someone out to get R. Kelly? Is someone out to destroy R. Kelly? And I asked you, well, do they own his masters? That's on a higher degree of conspiracy theory, cynical Bill Cosby-esque kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to destroying a legacy, there's no doubt in my mind that Lifetime is out here to destroy R. Kelly's legacy. Wow. When you see what they tried to do in the Aaliyah documentary series, combined with Wendy Williams, gearing almost that whole situation around the, the relationship of R. Kelly. R. Kelly had no business even being in that documentary if it's mm -hmm. about Aaliyah. That was a microcosm of her life that needed not to be highlighted in that situation over all the great that she did out here before mm -hmm. she passed away. And now you have a six-part docuseries Mm -hmm. on the man like mm -hmm. i said no matter if you think he did it i think he did it nothing has been out here nothing has been no one's been convicted and i've been hearing shit on my on my on my uh, platform we're gonna sit there and listen to the white man's conviction we're gonna do this we all know the truth you're absolutely right fam that's why you have the platform to comment we got to disseminate it objectively mm -hmm. now is he being sued 
that he's trying to sue, excuse me, yeah. uh, Lifetime as well. And he should. Right. Stupid. We should have been did that. Right. We said exactly. that. Like, why wouldn't you sue him? How long did we know about this docuseries? Months, bro. Yeah, it's been months. It's been months. Yeah, definitely. Your lawyer should have been on that a while ago. Right. Now, he said some things, and I brought this to your attention, mm -hmm. that kind of got me. Now, they said that according to TMZ, Kelly is far from pleased, obviously, with the trailers and the docuseries in general. His lawyer, Brian Nix, sat out a legal letter that claims the information of the docuseries is untrue. Mm -hmm. Nix continues on to threaten legal action against surviving R. Kelly and Lifetime if the show airs the schedule tonight. The six part documentary is being called a farce by Kelly, who claims he has two five minute long recordings that prove Lifetime knew that some of the women were lying. Kelly claims that some of the girls are lying, mm. but that the budget was too high to turn back now. What are your thoughts on that? I don't know, man. I mean, it's like he said some of them were lying. We went back and forth about that, you know, kind of in pre production very briefly. But, um, you know, again, man, you know. People are trying to um, get us to just come out and say, go at R. Kelly. Like, you know, I, first of all, I wasn't there. Does it appear, you know, with all these allegations that has appeared at what people are calling him, it does appear that way. But, you know, he hasn't been convicted. You know what I mean? Um, if women are coming out, you know, saying this, I would definitely watch to see to get more out of this. But right now, I can't put this man, you know, in any type of jail or anything of my public opinion without having more facts on this, not just people just coming out. I mean, we can't, how do we know? That's why people go through court. How do we know that people aren't lying? Just like, how do we know they're not telling the truth? We never, we don't know. You know what I mean? We just got to kind of people just go and say, okay, he's guilty or he's innocent. We really don't know. We weren't there, but you know, um, it does appear that way with all these allegations. Like I'm thinking like, wow, these people coming out now, you know, the money could be money, you know, fame. It's a lot of reasons why, but, you know, what, what is the evidence? What, what, what proof do they have that this happened is what I want to know. Not who was saying people can accuse you of anything. Yeah. But do they have the proof is what I'm trying to get to. My thing is this. We've we seen the video or you, you didn't see the video. You said that numerous times. But there's videos out there. There's a lot of speculation out there, even though speculation is not truth. There's a lot of things pointing to him being guilty. That and, and like you said, we went over this in the pre-production meeting. When he said some of the girls are lying, that resonated with me. And I'm not trying to be too cynical right now. I'm not trying to place blame on R. Kelly. I'm not trying to do that. But when you say some of them girls, it's like, okay, so some of them girls are lying, but maybe some of them aren't. And how many does it take for them to be telling the truth, for there to be some smoke to that fire? It only takes one to me. If he did it to one underage female, if he did it to one girl against their will, that's enough. Now, when we talk about a woman who is of age, 21 years old and we start getting into the cult shit miss me on that i'm sorry right if you're of age and you're willingly of mind body and sound to do what you have to do and you're talking about a cult situation miss me with that pedophilia him doing things with underage girls this is where the shit gets real and gets serious for r kelly because when you talk about situations like hugh hefner when he had multiple women throughout the palace and things underage. like that and things like that. I mean, there's maybe been speculation that some of them may have been. Hmm. We don't know. Right. But he is renowned as a icon and a Hollywood hero. Yeah. Out there yeah. in California. Yeah. When it comes to that, those kind of acts. So when you talk about a sex cult, miss me with that. Underage girls. Yeah, that's where R. Kelly is dead wrong. And if it took, if, if some of them girls are lying, but one of them girls are correct. So here's the thing, though. Here's what people are coming, you know, um, I don't read the comment and mainly for you because they're like, you seen the video. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, um, You know that he married Aaliyah or whatever. They was together. Why can't you? Not really me. Yeah. Why can't you come out and say this dude is guilty of all this stuff? Right. That's the question. Because I own a platform. <laughs> And because I have ah. to make sure I maintain the reputation of this platform and make sure I'm objective right. as possible. It's up to y'all to say, absolutely, he's guilty. He's guilty. Right. I'll put allegedly in front of my shit. I'll put if in front of my he stuff. He said it wasn't him. He said it wasn't him in the video, which, you know, that's what that's what people have caught. The court, they didn't convict him of it. I'm sure he got off with that, right? He beat that case. So I don't know. Allegedly, it wasn't him. I personally saw the video and I think <laughs> it was him. Hey, yeah, yeah. I think it was him to mm -hmm. where I allegedly know. You know what I mean? I don't know it was him because I wasn't in the room, right? But damn, when I saw it, I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" 
Book yo, is there any chance it couldn't have been him? Yeah. But you see. Is there any chance it couldn't have been him? Yeah. Of course, I wasn't there. I don't know. Yeah. And that and that's how, this is what it comes. I'm just trying to make a point. This is what it kind of comes down to, you know. Seeing something is not always mean that it's right. Yeah. Even though you, you know what I mean, it, it, that it can't seeing not not say that, but seeing doesn't mean that it'll be proven. Mm -hmm. You can say that you said you saw him shoot him. The droid might not think that you seen him shoot him. They may not think that when and obviously he got off. It's not saying that he's not guilty. What people are saying, but he did come out and say some of them are lying. Now, in my mind, it doesn't necessarily. I won't jump to the conclusion that to say that just because some of them are lying and some of them are telling the truth, I won't really jump to that conclusion, you know. Um, but some people will. You the, know what I mean? The sad thing is, we'll never know. We never know, right? We'll never know, and we we'll, can we can we can sit here and go back and forth. You could be on our Kelly side a thousand percent on his side, mm -hmm. saying that there's someone out to get him. We're wrong for saying this. We're wrong for saying that. You could think that he 100% is guilty. You could say we're wrong for defending him. You're mm -hmm. wrong for this. You're wrong for that. End of the day, you, neither one of us know. And neither none of y'all know. Mm -hmm. So it's all up to our opinion, all up to our estimation. We just try to be as objective as possible with the facts that we get, the mm -hmm. facts that we know, and try to disseminate it yeah. in a way that your normal media won't do. And we never want, you know, definitely don't want to uh, tarnish Leah's legacy. By no means. Or nothing like that. We love the Leah. We love, we damn near almost cried when she died. We had that whole little connection back. I mean, come on, August, man. It was August 30th to August 31st. I remember even hitting my cousin out in California and telling her Leah, and it was a sad. Yeah, that was, that was a real sad time in hip hop. It man. was sad. I was in Cali at that time, man. Okay. In fact, it was okay. sad, man. Yeah, definitely because she was on a, a pace. I mean, she would have been definitely like better than what Beyonce is. Like the way she was like, not to say that she was a better singer or anything like that but the way she, her star power the way she was moving she was gonna be big she and that was all part of that rockefeller stuff star man star power yeah definitely so you know that kind of is what it is you know um but yeah r kelly you know um it's threatening to sue lifetime i'm sure everybody will be tuning in tonight to see that we watch lifetime nah i don't even have cable but i ain't watching i'm not into the lifetime stuff nah. man and how they stare they're gonna stare a narrative no right matter what he's if you think he's guilty or not they're gonna stare a narrative and i'm not with staring at the narrative shit man Right. And, you know, if the, if the families are not going to come out, you know, if these alleged people and, and try to get prosecution, I mean, who are we? Right. You know what I mean, but, you know, that is what it is, man. You're tuning into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam, man, going in on this Thursday evening. If you're listening on YouTube, I need y'all to do me two favors. As always, hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. Yeah.